there's this great scene early on that encapsulates a lot of the the like the head spaces of the characters and Lucy in particular and it's when she's talking at the salad bar with Macy her roommate there's there's this very real comment that's dropped about how they don't know if they're really experiencing things because they're watching other people experience them and maybe too worried about keeping up the appearance of of normalcy so because so much of this show involves head games did you both feel like you had to do a bit of a sanity check at the end of this to feel like your roots are still in the ground yeah. or did it not go like that at all and you may have discovered something really remarkable about yourself because you were in their heads that's a great question yeah it's a great question yeah i definitely i think we had to do some sanity checks it's so i I remember like my first few jobs, I thought I was so good at, at separating myself from the characters and the past few, it's like, even if you try, it's it's just subconsciously things are going to get twisted. And and I think that you, you're you already a part of the character and the character is a part of you and things get melded and, and we've all been through versions of this story. So it it felt real going into it already so it it all gets tangled so we definitely had to cleanse afterwards mm. yeah definitely yeah i would say i mean it, it it affected me a little bit um i mean we we all would get out and and, and hang out every once in a while but um i think it was just because i was away from my family so long i i felt like a need to kind of just be with myself a little bit and then mm -hmm. constantly um just like going over uh, the dialogue and what's going on in the story definitely had some kind of effect on me or it made me feel down sometimes. Um, but I don't know if it made me really like uh, like think back onto my own life and see if there's anything I wanted to change or what I was really proud of that, that I've already accomplished. I think in college, I was a little more aware than uh, Evan was of myself. So it, it was it was a little different there, but I can understand and empathize. And uh, I think he, he struggles with like who his friends are and what he believes and being uh, maybe the, the nice guy. And I've, you know, I've, I've, I've gone through that as well. So that's been interesting to kind of break down. Uh, you know, not, not really. I think I'm pretty good at uh, separating work from life. Um, so when I get home, I'm like, you know, regularly when I'm there, I'm, I try to, you know, I, it's my job to step into them. But when I, when I go home, I don't really, no, I, I don't see a lot of like, and it's such, it's just like such a poisonous little world that they, they live in and that's not my mm -hmm. world. So it's, it's easy to remove myself, I feel. No. Yeah. 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 I'm definitely not trying to say that your lives. No, I know. I know. Characters. No, 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 no. I, yeah, yeah. I know you're not. I know you're not. Yeah, but it's just like the weight of like what they're dealing with and some of these emotions, like even some of the, the silent moments with like Wrigley. And there's just like so much to mine from it that I I just can't imagine being in that headspace and, and like walking away from it and feeling like there's something new that some new perspective that you may have just because you were in that character's headspace. Yeah, I could, I could, I could see how. I mean, it might, it might last a, f a few minutes or something, and still be in the the feeling of it. But no, yeah, yeah once you, and usually when in between takes, we were all being so ridiculous anyway. So it was like, yeah, yeah, okay. it was good to... I'm, I'm curious for like these moments that are kind of quiet. Do you enjoy doing those moments more because you have more creative? like a more creative license to kind of color in the gray areas and, and what may not be on the script, or do you actually prefer to speak words into existence? Both great. Both are, both are fun for different reasons. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of fun challenges with staying still and, and listening. And I don't know. They're both great for different reasons. My favorite moments are the, are the unspoken ones, I think, because I think it's, it could be the most truthful ones. And I think anyone, just in real life, anyone can say words, anyone can, yeah. can say things that go against what they're actually feeling. But if you catch somebody in a moment where they're not talking to somebody or they're looking away, that's when the real truth is and 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 the genuine feelings come out. So I, I love watching that in, in film and seeing the moments where they're reacting, but no one's watching them. That's my favorite. 
I'm not sure what the script what the script reading process was like, but how did you each decide just how much you wanted to know about your fellow actors characters journey? Like I asked that because you all really make the surprises of the series feel very genuine and I can't imagine trying to push out everything that you may know about the end result to play these scenes that feature big reveals as well as you do but did did you just glance at the scenes that you that didn't involve you uh to keep your focus on on just you or did you feel compelled to know more about the story being a fan of it as I am yeah. I think it's interesting to to see where everybody was and to keep keep track um cuz you see the full progression and you see I think we're all playing a role if that makes sense a role in an overall story not a role like as a character but a role and is it, by tracking kind of the entire story you're able to figure out how you fit into that and what purpose you serve so I, I think that part was interesting by by you know seeing where Stephen and Lucy were or were Wrigley and or Drew were I was able to kind of see how we all fit into the puzzle piece um so yeah I, I kept track here and there I, I read, you know, I, I read every part, everyone's scene, just because you, you never know if there's like a fact, a very important fact that's dropped about your character, mm -hmm. um, you would have missed it. But um, no, I, I, you know, it's, it's important to, I, I don't really dive too much in other characters, because if it doesn't have anything to do with how Wrigley feels about them, then I don't think it's really important or necessary. Yeah, I would, I would probably say the same for me. I mean, it's, it's important as an actor to read the scripts just so you know what's going on but also i mean i get why some wouldn't want to so those reactions can be more genuine mm -hmm. um i mean i probably didn't read like all of the scripts that i got like in detail but i, I would skim um to, to probably help with a bit of uh those revealing moments to seem more real yeah yeah well it, it worked um i i love this show and i can't wait to see where it goes from here so i hope you all are very proud of what you've done Thank, oh, you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care.